guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. So what'd you guys think about that new intro? Pretty sick, huh? That was a lot of fun to make. If you guys want a video on how I made that, then I might do that in the future. I'm in a really good mood because that test that I briefly mentioned on here that was like super important for my career, I passed it. Yay! So I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to take it again. I can just relax and continue with my normal licensure. If you didn't know, I am a teacher and teachers have to um, have certain licenses in their state depending on how long they've been there. And I'm basically upgrading to a professional license even though I'm already a professional. So it is what it is. But today we are here for Boxy Job. If you don't know, I'm actually on the BoxyCharm PR list. I know, little old me. Ugh. It actually came in the mail last week, but my current apartment did not tell me that a package was delivered and they just took it and held it because it didn't fit my box for some reason. Part of why I'm moving. But anyways, it's here. I did an unboxing on my Instagram stories. I have a little um, thing saved on my page when it was struggles for Boxy Charms. So that was where I had like my first first impression, but we are gonna open them today. I'm still gonna talk about them and I'm gonna do a look with them. What's interesting this time around is that I have a lot of skincare. And for me personally, it's not the hardest to make content for skincare, but it's hard to do makeup and skincare. You'll see what I mean in a second. Don't wanna mess up the hair because she's just washed. Now let's get started. The theme for this month's BoxyCharm is Flourish and the card has some really beautiful flowers on it, giving me very spring vibes. And I think the products that they sent me can help my skin definitely flourish to be its best self. Let's go down the line. I will be using the back of the card to kind of talk about them. So first we have a product from Murad Skincare. This is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. It claims to detoxify and revitalize skin overnight. Well, I guess I'm sold. Normally this is $74, so in a box of five items for only $25, y'all, that's kind of a steal. Next up is a product from Beekman 1802, which is one I have not heard of before. This is the Dewy Eyed Illuminating and Depuffing Eye Serum. I wonder how illuminating this is compared to the Fenty Bright Eyes. I know that that's more of like a concealer and this is more of a skincare product, but it'll be interesting to kind of see them side by side. What do you think? Next, we have this really cool serum from Skin Inc. This is the My Daily Dose of Uplift Serum Cocktail, and it's got a lot of different ingredients on them, specifically encapsulated collagen, coenzyme Q10, and hyaluronic acid. ColourPop has a hyaluronic skin line, like they have like the um, concealer and the foundation, and I think those work really well, so I have high hopes for this one. And now we're gonna get into some makeup, yay. This next product is from Ciate London. This is the Shadow Flip Liquid Shadow. So this is like a multi-chrome shadow, which is kind of cool. I'll give you a little swatchy here. I see a few different colors in there. It doesn't really show on camera, but there's even a little bit of green in there. Very interesting. And last we have this lippy from Sophia and Mabel. This is the Hydrating Hybrid Lippy in shade Topless. I've actually been using this for the past few days and I love how it looks on me. At first I was like, hmm, I don't know if this looks good, but then I added a lip liner with it and the lip liner really puts it all together. So I'll show you guys how I do that at the end. All right, my face is already cleaned. I used some micellar water, got rid of all all of my makeup wipes. It's just my cellar water from here on out. But I clean my face and so we are ready to go. I think I'm gonna go in with the serum cocktail first because that feels like it makes the most sense. You don't want to put a serum on after a moisturizer. I wonder if this has like a certain smell. It doesn't really smell like much of anything. I'm just gonna put this on my fingers. Boop, boop, boop. Don't want to do too much. Oh, it has like little uh Beads. All right, the beads dissolve into the serum. So that's cool, I guess. Skin looks nice and radiant as it usually would be after a serum. Obviously with the skincare, it's gonna be mainly my first impressions and I won't really be able to give you guys a final verdict until I've been using it for a few weeks. I keep on saying that I'm gonna do a skincare video and I keep on putting it off, but I wanna do it so bad. Pro tip, always bring your skincare down to your neck because your neck skin is just as like fragile and frail as your face skin and you don't want that to age. So any anti-aging things you also wanna do to your neck. All right, let's go into this eye brightening serum. If my camera adjusts at all during this, I'm also filming a TikTok for this video, so I apologize. Pea size amount under eyes, on eyelids, and around the orbital bones. All right, we're gonna follow the instructions, put on a pea size, mm, I guess that's a pea. 
also doesn't have a scent. I'm okay with skincare not having a scent though. I feel like sometimes scented skincare can be a little much. Do my eyes look brighter? I mean, I guess you can't really see my eye bags that much. You guys tell me, how's my skin looking so far? Flawless? Perfection? I know. All right, we're gonna try out this moisturizer from Murad. It's obviously supposed to be a night moisturizer for before going to bed, but I'm just gonna do it now for the video. I'm gonna put some makeup on on top of it. Don't yell at me. I think I've heard that you like push it. Ooh, look at that. That looks so cool. Okay. No smell to this one either. Real quick, there's a certain way I want to apply this for um, a TikTok video that I'm doing, so I will be right back. All right, no more TikTok interruptions, I promise. But let's go ahead and blend this in. It is a pretty thick moisturizer. I'm really used to um, like gel moisturizers versus a cream. Like if you've paid attention, oh, it has a s okay have you guys ever been into a GameStop? when you blend this in to the skin it smells exactly like a GameStop. it's very strange but anyways if you follow me on instagram which you should you guys will know that i got a little pr from otzi i'm pretty sure if that's how it's pronounced they have a very nice gel moisturizer that i like to use we'll see how this one wears on my skin and just how my skin reacts to it but I mean, it did what it had to do. So I have no problems with that yet. It's just so weird how you smell like GameStop. How do you know? You're not even a real being. All right, I've got a lot of steps to put on my makeup, so I don't want to bore you guys too much. I'll be right back. Psh. All right, we got some natural base makeup going on. Nothing too crazy. I put on a Kaja Beauty Bento on my eyes, but I wanna go ahead and spice up my eye look. So I'm thinking about taking the Ciate London Multi Chrome and making a winged eyeliner out of it. Crazy, yes. Innovative, yes. Stupid, no. Gotta get my mirror prepared, L-I-S. I have a list of all the products that I used on my face down below because I feel like you guys sometimes like that, sometimes you don't. See, like, it doesn't really show on camera, but it's actually a little green. It's so weird. Anyways, I'm just gonna take an angled brush here. Put it down. Oh, don't wanna take too much. I don't like how it's chunking. All right, let's hope and pray, but this looks good. I'm gonna take the wing out first. Lord have mercy. Well, now you can see the green a little bit, but I hope that this isn't like a green wing. Okay, it took me a second, but I think it doesn't look bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's okay if you say that it's bad. This is my first time using it and it was kind of a risky move. Let me put on the other eye and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, my eyes are finished. Let's go ahead and get a close up. Ooh, ooh. We did good. I also fixed up my hair and changed my outfit. So last but not least, it's our lippy. So because the color of the lipstick is a little light on me, I'm gonna add a darker lip liner. I'm gonna use the liner from the ELF X Janatkin Lip Duo in shade Bring On Brown. I know I kind of overdraw my lips a little bit excessively, but my end goal is to look like a blobfish, so let me live. And now last but not least, it's lippy time. And with that, our look is complete. Let's talk about some final thoughts. Oh, um, before we do that, quick shout out to the Kinder Beauty highlight palette that I received in the last one's box. I use it almost all the time now. It's amazing. So definitely recommend getting and it won't break your bank. So as far as the skincare products go, I can't give you a 100% verdict right now because I'm gonna have to try them out for a few weeks to get a good feel for them, but I tried them last night. Here's a picture of me last night at like 10.44 p.m. I put all three of these products on and I decided to let them wear overnight and see how my skin looked. And this morning when I felt my skin, it was just so smooth and it felt radiant. It was really awesome. So, so far so good. It's promising. The shadow flip, I want to try and use it again in some different looks because as cute as this liner is, I don't think I got to feel its full effects. So I'm hoping to try it out in the next week or so and play with it for a few looks. So far, I think it's fine. 
like I think that the formula is pretty good and it also doesn't move a lot because I tried to like kind of adjust my wing and it was, it was kind of stubborn which is good and bad and lastly we have our lip duo you already know that I love this I definitely want to look for this in some different colors and I want to see what else the brand has so overall I think I give this month's boxy charm a 7 out of 10 the products were of really good quality I mean I tried them all and I didn't think that they were bad necessarily but especially with so much skincare, I can't get a final verdict until a few weeks from now. If you get BoxyCharm, did you get any of the same products that I did? If you did, let me know below how they worked for you. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you for watching all the way through. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe for more fun videos about makeup, skincare, beauty, and whatever. My channel has been really growing a lot recently, and it's so exciting and fun to see. I'm almost at 60 subscribers right now when I'm filming this, and I never really thought that I would really get this far, honestly. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!